What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we'll be doing another ranked match. So as you can see, I'm on my alternate account, my new alternate account, one week old, Nerp the Ninja. Um, yeah, I played a lot on it recently. I'm going to try to keep a good win-loss record, but I know people don't really pay attention to those, including me, because of the amount of times it takes, uh, the amount of tries it takes to beat, like, some of the hard trials. Um, yeah, so I started off, like, really winning a lot of ranked matches, um, with the growth deck I just traded myself, but then that kind of fizzled out when I started facing a lot of decay at, like, 1780 or so, so then I traded myself an order deck. And I started doing okay with that, losing a couple, winning a couple, and now I've dropped a lot. So it's time for a deck change. Um, I've gotten suggestions from to Overlord, to Good Looking on the forums, member of the Badger Guild, and he is a primary order player. And he is higher ranked on the ladder than my alternate account, and he plays only order just like this account. So I'm going to trust his judgment, and hopefully maybe his deck uh, helps mine a bit. Actually, it's almost his deck. I'm actually changing one thing. Um, I am going to be running with two pothers and three flips, and he runs. Not yeah, and he runs two pothers and. Th no, he runs three pothers and two flips. I run two pothers and three flips. Because I love flips. Like, flip is like anywhere you want. So, I like that. No RNG factors in that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, on my main account, and if you want to three, I just passed Blinky for the number one spot. So, I'm back on top, but not for long. I'm only one point ahead of him. I think I'm 1959. He's 1958. And Pukey has played a lot of ranked recently. And then Cantor, like, winning a lot. So, my number one spot again won't last long, but it doesn't matter. I I have the ultimate scroll deer achievement. Actually, no, wait, it's not on this count. Yeah, what am I saying? Okay. So, and I played one judgment run so far. I think I would have got five wins, but I only got four because I actually had to run in the middle of my last match, so I had a spring. But I was able to get two Sister of the Owls. Pretty nice. Alright, Eva. I know, I know Eva. Oh, we got we go first, that's good. Um, Eva usually plays a energy order structures deck with speeds and tempo thefts on uh, iron ogres. So I think Imperial is going to be very important for that. I'm going to sacrifice the focus. Blessing of Haste is really important now in games because... Um, it puts you a step ahead of your opponent, and yeah, speed is like not as important anymore because I don't run main canals anymore. Maybe I should, but without the focus buff, uh, they just seem like they're not uh, versatile enough to have in the deck. Okay, now we have a tough decision. I think we have to get rid of the blessing of haste now. Alright, so we want to get board control before he can start getting his structures out. I assume that he's running with his. Uh, like a uh, energy order structure deck, so I have to watch out for when he is. Once he gets it to, um, I'm glad that I'm at four health guys now because when you're against energy, you want to watch out for those burns. Oh, I'll play the Ducal Skirmisher. The new Wings Captain, just such a huge nerf. They gave it one extra attack, and now it uh, does the move buff to itself, but the whole countdown, like, reduction. Is Okay, so he burns that three health guy. Not a big problem. And I'm actually going to sacrifice to play the Vanguard now. Keep that guy separated just in case he does anything like blind rages or whatever. But yeah. So whatever card comes with this turn is probably going to be sacked for resources. So I'll skip one of my turns and then I'll just play the Imperial resources the next turn. And he's starting to go for order. So once he gets to two order, I have to ah, uh, second two speeds is not great. But now that speeds are like really only really used on generals, I don't feel too bad. 
Um, I'll actually stay in the middle here. I mean, what is he gonna do? Like, blind range me now? Go for it. Okay, so, Imperial next turn. I hope I don't draw an Imperial resources right here so that I have to sack it. That would suck. He has two order now. And now he's getting energy with that order. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to take this thing down. Unless I get like a flip or something. Or now I have two powders, so that could be a thing. Okay, I'll have to sack him. Play the Imperial. And now we have some other stuff. I'll move you up. And... Hmm. I'm going to view up also. The reason I up to be his next turn, if I move him up and this guy up, I'm busting a face this guy, I can do 3 damage there and 5 damage there because of the captain buff. And now I cannot do that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Darn. Well then. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, he just needs two energy to make that thing go off. Can we get like a Kabak? Maybe? Yeah, this thing's dead now. It's like five turns. I'm not waiting five turns for that thing to attack. Um, is it worth it to kill this thing? I don't know. It's worth it to use Blessing Face and focus on it. Mm. Alright, well. No, nah, I don't think it is. I'll go ahead and throw a in there. If you down, I'll let him go ahead and kill that. And if he has a Thunder there's a low chance he has a Thunder Surge now. Because. Uh, that's not what I wanted to see. Oof. And now he's gonna get a lot of cards from that clock library next to Hmm. I guess I'll be sacrificing the focus. And now we get the kabonk, but now we can make the thing attack every turn. That's pretty annoying. Um that thing is going to be going off, so I'm not going to engage up there anymore. Uh, I know I'm not really playing around a possible... Possible... Thunder Church here, but... Well, he probably has one now because of that clock library. Let's see. What is he going to do? He has the resource advantage at 9 and the card advantage. And he's just going to go ahead and kill my 4 countdown skirmisher to use his turn. But I'm fine with that. I am completely fine with that. Uh, huh. Tough sack. I think I'm going to sack the Pave though. Because I want these creatures. Oh, we have two Blessing Haste. I could Blessing Haste this guy just so I can get a lot of damage on an idol, but really, it's probably not the best move. Um, now you could have Thunder Searches. I'm going to start separating my guys a little bit. I want this guy towards the middle of the board so he has access to these three lanes. And I'll go ahead and play you. Alright. So now he could Thunder Search, but. It wouldn't be that big a deal. He has seven cards now. Oh no, he, I just noticed he's at... He Thunder Surge, okay. He's at six resources. That means he can sack for resources, get to seven, and play a Ogre Speed or Tempo Theft. Um, he has nothing to Tempo Theft but a zero countdown, though. So that's good, I guess. Uh... Bad draw. Okay. Now here's a question: Do I want to busting face this thing to get these after attack? I think I do. I think I kind of want to rush idols here. 
So now if I go three, that's seven, and then five, or I can go six plus nine. I don't want to do that. You could have a double thunder surge though. I don't have decimations in my deck, so I have to remember that. Um, darn. Gotta remember, he can, he can uh, speed it up in time. So, if he does that this row this turn, that'd be pretty bad. But we have flips in our hands. We can actually get Sneak a win in pretty soon if he can't get his structures on the board. I don't know what he's been doing. He probably has like. Like a couple of automata forges in his hand that he hasn't been playing, I don't really know. But without the decimations, I can't rely on that like two damage on an idol anymore. Okay, he sacks for resources and he does the Oh! Middle row. You know what, that surprises me. I would I thought he I I personally would have gone with the attacking row. But whatever. Um Keep the Ducal Spearman. Now, should we flip him just to do damage? No. I think we want to take down this idol. And I know this is a great Thunder Surge target. And he can just speed and plow through this row, kind of, and do a lot of damage. But, whatever. Um, I don't care moving you down. Uh, is Spiky do one damage to him or two damage? The armor, all combat damage. I think Spiky's considered combat damage. I won't play the Spiky yet this turn, anyways. Go ahead and go like that. All right, two idols down. But he has five cards in hand and a lot of resources, so he can't. if he has another speed, he can make this thing go. He can't do that much though. He wouldn't even be able to kill this thing without some kind of help from another card. Okay. Let's see. So next turn. I can win very soon because I have a flip. Oh, I hear uh, Thunder Surged. It's annoying, but we're good. Double Dugal Spearman. I think I want to keep the flip. And I get an Imperial. That's nice. So I can heal my guys down there a little bit. And I get a Focus. So that would go for five. And that's not enough. You need seven damage to kill this guy because his armor one. Should I bother doing damage on him? Eh. Sure, why not? Okay, I want to get a lot of damage in this turn. So. Do I want, do I want to move these guys close? So then he can... No, I'm not. I was thinking I'm moving these guys next to the vanguard so then they buff him also but then a thunder surge and like a speed would really kill me yeah and it's a good thing I didn't do that because that would have just happened so can I win next turn if he doesn't protect this which I don't think he can because he or it's, it's a little energy um I go for one two three and four and yeah it's gg yep gg Uh, not anymore. <laughs> ah, of course. He had that. Um, we got a flip. Oh, we have a flip, right? So, if we... Go like... That. 3 plus 4, and then I just go... 6. And then I flip this. All right. No, he didn't. He did not do it. Well, ah, right, I gotta get back to my winning ranked match ways. My goal is to get both my accounts uh, in like the top ten or something. I know one of them's at number one right now, but the other one's all the way. I don't even know if it's here. Oh, there it is. So I'll probably continue playing some ranked, and hopefully. Next time you see me, I'll have two like top five accounts. That'd be pretty cool. So I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.